How y'all doing? My name's Jibby B. Today I'm going to tell you guys about the uh, interchange stash run. This interchange stash run is a really good way to you know, subsidize your money if you're you know hurting a little bit for some bad raids or whatnot. As you can see here, this is a map of interchange and marking all of the stashes. The main ones that you're going to be worried about are the ones on the bottom and then up the left hand side. So you have your others like on the bottom right straight above uh, Emercom. That one you can hit depending on where you spawn at. But it's going to be one of those things if you're coming from the railroad side, it's a little risky and you might already be full so you might not need it. And obviously you have the one up by the power station if you or the two up by the power station. If you spawn up there, great. If not, you're probably not going to go for those. And then obviously the one underneath the bridge and whatnot, they're just kind of out of the way. So they're more of a if the opportunity arises type thing. For these other ones... We're going to go through, I'm going to do an actual run uh, in raid just so you can kind of see what to expect and, you know, potentially what you might run into while you're doing these. So when it comes to gear for this, usually you go fairly light. You shouldn't really expect a whole lot of uh, contact when you're doing this. You're going to want a decent sized backpack, like at least a tricep, potentially bigger. And uh, I like to have a decent rig on me too, just for, you know, having spots for ammunition and whatnot. And just more storage when it comes to a firearm you're gonna want something that's you know can reach out a little bit a lot of your uh, if you're doing the stash runs your most of your contact is gonna be from you know a little bit of distance out so you want like a medium ish maybe a little bit longer type gun so maybe a valde an l can you know some sort of scope or whatnot on it you don't necessarily have to in this rate i'm going to be doing up here i don't i'm going to be using an ak-74m so let's uh, get into this Okay, so you see we got the Amarcon spawn. The spawn is decent. Since we actually got this, we're going to try to hit up this rock one over here. We'll uh, stash in the rocks, which normally don't hit. Because you have to uh, go out of your way. And if you come from the other side, you're you know, pretty full by the time you get to this point. So the watch out because there's spawns over there and over here. I've actually had both of these spawns rush me before. I'll go for this. Oop. That spot can lay down. Take everything, try to get a proper gauge on how much money the runner made. Peaks over here. I'm not trying to push from that way. So the next two will be down here. Here, we got some armor, a rig. Each of these are empty. I'll take it. And take the little guys. Throw them in there, actually. Create more space for you. Okay. 
you want to constantly be scanning too, because especially like over here, there's just quite a few angles. You have all your exo campers up there, so these have exo campers up there, sitting on top of the overhang. Once you get to the side here, though, besides running into the guys who are doing the same thing we're doing, it's going the opposite direction. Ain't too much to worry about. There actually is a, uh, a duffel bag, like right past that bush down there, if you want to get that on the way too. I'm going to go past that first little group of bushes and trees. Then right over here is going to be your next one. Right here you want to start like real scanning. Out here, real good. You could in the front end, the guys can be opposite direction because they can fire. This little corner over here, and you'll see what I mean by corner, it seems to be kind of like the perfect time spot that by the time they get they're coming your way, you're going their way. You guys just kind of meet up. Between these two trees right here. See if you're early in the way, but you're still collecting those uh, cigarettes for uh, mechanic. Actually, find quite a few of them doing this, as well as making some money. I haven't seen anybody or even really heard much. The next two are definitely the worst uh, ones to get. Where your, your general ones that you basically always hit. Here, it's called the scout cube. You have some PSCs going through here. Usually, they go through it instead of in the middle part because uh, snipers looking out of interchange. But you gotta worry about those scavs. They'll hide in these uh, the tents. They walk right past and we'll realize they're there. Okay, Take some room. Keep the thing I can. See, I got a decent sized backpack and I'm gonna fill it up and still have three left to get, I think. Okay. Four, four stashes left to hit. Actually, get some medical supplies there too, like CMS kits and stuff. Right here in this tent, a lot of times a scav loves to spawn right there. Okay. Not there that time, but. Shooting up to these little purple things, you can actually search these. 
I never really found anything great in them, but they're yeah, searchable. Seems like if we haven't ran into anybody going the opposite direction, we're probably not going to at this point. Just kind of nice. Now, if you're doing this to make money, you don't want to die. But over here, you could have some campers. This stash in particular, I found a slick at one time. Oh. oh, it's not a slick, but some armor. Uh, let's see here. Start getting rid of some things. This one's probably one of the harder ones to see. These little outcrop of trees right here. And six this tree right here. Like the rest of this good stuff. Take this off quite a bit small, uh, slower to worry about someone seeing you. Like, try and keep, you know, down to a reasonable time frame. Hmm. Let's see here. Toothpaste is actually worth a decent bit of money. on the wall to the right first big push against the wall is the next one one that we're going to hit is going to be right here. Now this run is pretty generic except for hitting that one at the very beginning. That's not normally one that people hit because it's, you know, high risk once you start it over there. But everything else you're basically going to hit every single time and you should actually make out pretty good. I'm going to grab this bulb. Let's top it off since we're going to hit it out. Your extract, if you start it in uh, Summercom, like we did, it's gonna be right here at the rail yard. So, watch out for campers sitting up up there, or even over there on the other ledge. Anywhere in between, really. Kinda keep it pretty minimalistic, come up here. Watch for people to come behind you. Coming from the other direction. Check your angle. Last one. Good. Lay it under here. Crawl in. 
piece of trains as cover. And there you go. I get this all added up and hit you with the final total. Alright, so we're back. I've sold everything, sold some stuff to the, uh, the dealers. A lot of it on the flea market. A little bit better price. Takes longer to sell, obviously, because you're waiting on other people to buy it, but... When it all said and done, I sold everything too. I didn't keep anything, even the ammunition that I would have used. I sold it just to kind of give you a good, uh, you know, estimate on what these could be worth. And honestly, this run was a lot more valuable than I thought it was going to be. Ended up being basically this. So I found these euros, so 37 euros, and then just over 800,000 rubles, which is pretty impressive. I mean, that's not bad. And it took just over 14 minutes. So 800k. Roughly just over 14 minutes. I kept some of it if you wanted to. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helped out. And catch you next time.